a heckly crowd, man. This is, let me tell you about this comedy show. This is a nightmare night, okay? <laughs> Who in their right mind thought, hey, I got an idea. Why don't we get a bunch of British people, <laughs> lock them in a warehouse, and give them bottomless booze for an hour? <laughs> then make them sit down and pay attention for another hour and a half. <laughs> I can literally see your faces when the comedy's about to start. People are like, oh, come on, do we have to? <laughs> Bottomless booze. I saw some of you, man, just going through it. Some of you guys go through the line, finish your beer, and then, like, before you even get and then just come right back in. <laughs> chuck, 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 yeah, all right, chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> I don't know why you're standing right now, sir. There's nothing you could have to say. What, what? You said I'm in insurance. What? Oh. Oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. It's the king of the bottomless booze. <laughs> he's not wearing shorts. He's not wearing shorts. Okay. Thank you so much for putting that out there. Are you just stating obvious facts now? At various points in the night, that guy's going to stand up and say things that are totally obvious. He's just going to get up and go, I'm a bald dickhead. <laughs> and we're going to be like, yes, we know, have a seat. But what I like about that guy is he thinks he did a good job at that. He's going to go, yeah, th thank you. I like this guy. He's all right, man. <laughs>